The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 13, verses 16 to 20. After Jesus had washed the feet of his disciples, he said to them, I tell you most solemnly, no servant is greater than his master, no messenger is greater than the man who sent him. Now that you know this, happiness will be yours if you behave accordingly. I am not speaking about all of you. I know the ones I have chosen. But what scripture says must be fulfilled. Someone who shares my table rebels against me. I tell you this now, before it happens, so that when it does happen, you may believe that I am he. I tell you most solemnly, whoever welcomes the one I send welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear brothers and Jesus, sisters in Christ Jesus, there's something they speak of in, in psychology called megalomania. Megalomania is something that a person tries to see himself or herself as bigger than what he or she is. He or she wants to show that uh, I am above everybody. And these people like uh, uh, publicity. They, were, they like uh, anything pomp and uh, grandeur things, anything very attractive and so on. All of us have something of that. But it becomes a mania, a megalomania, when we, when we show ourselves as bigger than everybody, everybody. And, uh, but actually, you know, the, the, such people are, are never at peace in themselves. They're all the time in competition with others. They are being threatened by anybody bigger than them. Anybody better than them, it threatens them. Nobody should be better than, better than them. In other words, they don't want to be second to none. And they should be always first. Sometimes we also inject this particular mentality into our children. We tell them, you should be first. You should be the best. It's okay, children should be first. But, uh, but there's, there's always possibility there will be somebody better than your child, somebody more than your child. But if you're going to inject this into the child, this child is not going to be happy all the time, fighting, 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 never happy with what he or she is having it. In today's Gospel, we, we, this passage is taken immediately after uh, the Lord speaks something, which is immediately after washing the feet of his disciples. And you know that before the Lord and the disciples came to the Last Supper, for the, uh, to, the la, uh, to the upper room for the Last Supper, they were discussing among themselves who is, be, who is the greatest among them, who is going to be the first among them. And then the Lord is not trying to teach them anything by words, but rather he starts in the feet of his disciples. So that's one of the best way the Lord was always using. He did what he wanted to preach. And uh, so, and then afterwards he'll give, he'll give the uh, teaching about it. And then the Lord gives this teaching, you know. Then he would also say, uh, among the pagans and the, uh, among the pagans, uh, people lord, want to lord it over others, but not among you. You should serve one another, and so on and so forth. And today he says, uh, no servant is greater than his master. In other words, uh, no, Everyone should somehow feel, you know, that I am a servant. You know, I'm called to serve, serve this society, serve my people who are given to me. Uh, I am given as a helper to someone who belongs to me. You know, we always think others should help me, others should, be, should serve me, others should be my helper and so on. It, it, is, it can happen to you, but if you're going to demand, if you're going to insist on that, then you will make a mess of your life and the life of others. But rather if you say, I'll be the first one to help, I'll be the first one to serve, and then you will see, you will make a, a situation heaven. You know, you can change the hell into heaven by saying that, I will be first to serve, I'll be first to help. And that should be the thing. Hmm? So therefore, you know, uh, uh, to be a servant, uh, you know, 
uh, in any way, you, you can look into your own life, you know. You may be a boss or you may be a team leader under you, there are so many. But there's above you, there's somebody. And the, the above him, there's another one. It goes on, goes on, you know. And we always, almost we accept that it's, it's okay to look under somebody. But when it comes to our life situation, we don't accept that. We want to be boss over that. Especially in the, in the family circles, we try to show that I am better than you. I'm better than you in this way. You may be better on that way, but I am better in this way, and so on and so forth. Okay. And in today's first reading, uh, it's, uh, uh, Peter is giving our, you know, a beautiful uh, sermon. And then uh, Paul is giving a beautiful sermon. At the end, he speaks about John the Baptist. He says, I am not the one you imagine to be. In other words, you think that I am Christ? No, 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 no. I am not the Christ. Okay. But the one who is going to come is greater than me. I am not even able to untie the sandals of that one. Of that one. Okay. In other words, I am his servant. He is my master. You know, this was the same uh, lesson of humility of, of serving others is exactly what is being enacted every day at the altar. At the altar, the Lord is my master and savior. He makes himself, you know, vulnerable and weak and comes into our hand. And as St. Francis was to say, uh, do you not know that you handle Christ? You handle him. Handle means, you know, you can do anything with him. So he lets himself be handled by us. And uh, so, so, so much he humbles himself. Therefore, the Eucharist, we find the humility of God, humility of the Lord. And let's try to learn from him. Let's try to imbibe so that we would be happy to serve one another, uh, to be helpers of one another. May God give us peace.